Symptoms. What is a symptom? Most people think symptoms are, you know, oh, I just have pain and this is my symptom I have and I just have to cover it. But symptoms are like fire alarms going off in your body. When a fire alarm goes off in, in your house, it's telling you there's something much more dangerous going on. It's the body screaming out that I need help. And so they're not meant to be covered. You would never take the batteries out of your fire alarm, right? What would happen to your house? It would burn down. You would never put uh, you know, tape over your check engine light because what's eventually gonna happen, that car is gonna break down. But when it comes to the human body, what are we trained to do in society when you have a symptom? You cover it, you mask it with a drug, a pill, a potion, a lotion. And so is your problem still there? Of course it is. So if your problem, the root cause of your problem represents the fire and you're masking it or you're taking the batteries of the fire alarm, what's gonna eventually happen to the building, which is your body, it's gonna burn down, and it's gonna die early. And so what a symptom is, by the time you have a symptom, a symptom already means that those nerves are already extremely inflamed and you're already in a crisis. And it doesn't necessarily you know, let you know the location. So let's say you have, let's say, some, your friend of yours, you have neck pain. You know, those nerves are inflamed, but if you're having heart problems, thyroid problems, immune system problems, you don't feel heart, you don't feel thyroid, but those, so whether you feel the pain or not, those nerves, you could, you could count on it, are already inflamed, and it's in a crisis enough to shut down the function, causing disease into the body. Because when there's a heart problem, a hormonal problem, a thyroid problem, I'm just using the neck, a lung issue going on, health is 100% function, and so what disease is, is less than optimal function. We think disease is something that you feel. It's not. All disease is, is something not functioning correctly. That's what it is. And you don't feel disease process until there's enough cell and tissue damage that occur. Then all of a sudden, there goes the flares. There's the pain. There's the symptom sickness disease. Or the worst symptom of all is what? The early death because you never felt it. So the biggest killers in our country today are not the ones that you feel. It's the ones that you don't feel. You don't feel diabetes catching up on. You don't feel Alzheimer's coming to you. You don't feel uh, all these other the cancers and the heart disease. So then they're the biggest killers of all, so we cannot base our health on how we feel. So having a symptom-based healthcare practitioner is never going to be the best for your healthcare decisions. You want to be proactive, not reactive. The difference there meaning that reactive care is what we're taught, right, in this country. I have a problem, I react to it, okay, I react to it. Versus being proactive, which means you take care of your health now and you get to avoid all those things down the road so you're not reacting to a tremendous disease crisis down the road. So remember, a symptom, when you feel a symptom, it's already a warning signal of something much more dangerous going on. So please tell your friends at work, if you see people, they're rubbing their neck or they're complaining they're taking a pill for this or that, take the authority, say, listen, I know you think that's just a headache, I know you think that's just a neck pain from working, but already, tell them, the nerves in your body are already inflamed, causing a disease crisis in your body right now, and you have to find the cause of that. Do not take the batteries of the fire alarm, do not put the tape over your check engine light, be proactive, and take care of your health for the rest of your life.